This is literally my hair in the morning. What's up Packers? It's Goldie Blocks, and spring is in the air. And that can only mean one thing, unleashing my inner botanist. Cause we're gonna be making a DIY indoor garden. What? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And for our first hack, we have a wind chime, an upcycled piece of driftwood, which is basically, you find it on the ocean. It's very natural, goes with the botanist theme, and it's very pretty, like the sounds. Every single garden I've ever been in is not that many, but I've been to my fair share of gardens. They normally have a wind chime because it's very soothing, you know? Lets the plants have their zen time. Um... Oh, in my face, in my face. For this DIY, you'll need some driftwood, a bunch of keys, paint, and twine. Start by painting the driftwood however you want. I'm making it rainbow. Now let's paint the keys. I'm only painting one side, so they look different when they're spinning in the air. While we're waiting for those to dry, let's cut the twine for the keys. Tie one end of the twine around the driftwood. Maybe double knot it to make sure it's secure. Finally, string the keys onto the twine and make a knot around the key. And that's it. So cool, right? I built a house. It's a mansion. It's on the beach. It's in Fiji. I'm kidding. It's a sprout house. I know, it's basically a mansion for like plants. My plants deserve a house too. We don't give them a mansion to sprout in. Think about it, they're homeless. They sometimes sit outside and they're just like sprouting, looking at the sun thinking, I need a house, especially a mansion that Goldie's gonna build for me, but she hasn't built for me yet. That's made out of sponges. A sprout house made out of sponges that I got from the Dollar Tree, very expensive. I wanted an indoor garden, but not that much work. You know, because I have other hacks that take up my time. Sprout house, a DIY house for your sprouts. For this DIY, you'll need sponges, scissors, a hot glue gun, and seeds. These can be whatever you want, alfalfa or chia or whatever. First, let's build the sponge house. If you want it to be sturdier, you can hot glue the sponges together. Water it twice a day for best results. Indoor garden, here we come. I'm gonna tell you a little story about my sprout house here. So you know, I made it a couple weeks ago. I watered it like twice a day, gave it some more sun, let it chill, have a nice tan. I gave it some acknowledgement, like you're gonna grow, you're gonna do this, like moral support. And then I, uh, I went for to get my spray bottle, didn't look at the label, started spraying. I saw it bubbling and I was like, are you growing? It's growing people. And then I looked at the bottle and it said bleach. They were bubbling because they were dying. <laughs> I think I may have killed my sprouts. I just wanted my sprouts up a good life. You know what I mean? And I just like ruined it for them because I sprayed them with bleach. Mm -hmm. On something that actually works. You don't have to remind yourself to water this plant because it waters itself. It's perfect for me and anyone that can't remember to do anything. You just put this on a windowsill, fill it with some water like once, lay back and watch your sage grow. Because you know, once that's fully grown, you can burn it and get rid of all of those ghosts. Just like sage your house. It's an herb garden, but I'm calling them herb. Because it has an H, but it's a silent H. So I'm gonna go against the English language and call them herb. What's up, herb? You growing yourself? Yeah, you are. For this DIY, all you'll need is a plastic bottle, potting soil, plant seeds, window screen, string, and a stopper. 
First, cut the plastic bottle off right where it starts to bend in. Cut a hole in the middle of the screen. Pass the string through the hole and double it up. Tie a knot to keep it secure. Run the long part of the string through the neck of the bottle. Invert the top of the bottle down into the bottom side. Fill the bottom half of the bottle halfway with water. Fill it with soil and seeds. The string will feed the soil, and the soil will feed the seed. Look at that! Self-watering herbs. Here you go, Herb. You belong somewhere now. You go, Herb. The cool thing about this is it won't accidentally water itself with bleach. So which DIY was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I think mine was Herb the Herb. Give me a thumbs up if you liked my video and subscribe for more DIYs every Friday. Also, if you want to be part of the early squad, you should totally turn on my post notifications. For the weekly Goldie Squad shout out, it goes out to Ben Reese. Thank you so much for commenting and I totally agree with your comment. That's all I have for you guys today. Botanist Goldie is signing off.